Welcome aboard. This video will cover how to make up, deploy, and stow a heaving line. A little history of the heaving line. In the 1990s, all heaving lines were refitted with a rubber ball, which were either orange or red in color. Now they replaced the infamous monkey fist knot that contained heavy weights such as lead that created a hazard for personal equipment as you can imagine. Setting up takes a bit of practice just like anything you do, especially getting the coils just right. The key here is to make them above the ball so it will not tangle as you deploy it. The other end is usually tied off to the end of the messenger of the mooring line with a bowling knot, but in this case, since it's just practice, we'll stop it off on the handrail. Next step, divide the coils in two, approximately two thirds in one hand, which is the casting hand, and the rest in the other. I'm pointing to the knot. The correct placement will be right in between your fingers, so when you throw it, the ball will not slip through your fingers. Now after you give a verbal warning on the pier of heads up, you will prepare and throw. Now while I'm recovering, a bit of a pro tip. When you do throw this, ensure that you lead with the casting hand, obviously, but let go of the other coil simultaneously. Proper storage, and coil just like before. Have enough line remaining so you can take several turns around as shown. Once, twice, and take it through the opening where you were holding it. And on the USS Whitehead, we will secure it on the aft ladder on one of the rungs. Apply a clove hitch. Good to go. Blooper reel. I hope that didn't leave a mark. Don't tell anybody. This video was brought to you by the following references, the Bosun's Mate and the Seaman Nav Ed Tray. Thank you for watching.